Another famous sequence is the Hanoi sequence, which gets its fame from another famous math problem called the Towers of Hanoi. So I do suggest that you look into that just to get some reference because this sequence basically tells you how many movements are required to move the tower from one peg to another. And again, to get reference, just go to Google and type in the Towers of Hanoi and you'll get the whole description. So the first thing I'm gonna do is try to get, what we're gonna do is try to get a formula for H sub n. Let's do this with the naive approach again, which means just plugging in numbers and seeing if we can find a pattern. So we know that H sub zero is zero. So that means H, so basically every term is twice the previous plus one. So two times zero plus one is one. Two times one plus one is three. Two, two times three plus one is seven. Two times seven plus one is 15. And I'm going to conjecture, remember that this is n equals zero, n equals one, two, three, and four. I think h sub n is two to the power n, but minus one because 15 is one fewer than 16, seven is one less than eight, and so on and so on. So there is my conjecture. We're gonna prove it by induction. So base case, we'll say n equals one. Eight sub one is equal to two, whoa, two to the first minus one, which is one. And we've already computed eight sub one up there is one. So that meets the base case. So now we're going to assume, and again, since the sequence is written in terms of n and n minus 1, I'm going to assume that h of k minus 1 is equal to 2 to the k minus 1 minus 1. Then h sub k, which is equal to 2 h sub k minus 1 plus 1, is equal to 2 times 2 to the k minus 1 minus 1 plus 1 which is two times two to the K minus one minus two plus one. Well, would you look at that? We're multiplying two to the K minus one times another two. That's gonna bump that up to two to the K minus one. And there it is. So we have proven the Hanoi sequence formula by induction. Thanks for watching.